One of the real worries here, the same worries they have all around the world, money, jobs, work, uh, something we are just learning, and you have mentioned again that you're talking about entrepreneurship. It is just dawning on people now that location, location is not necessarily for the corner store or a flower shop. It's for everything. It's just, like I say, it's just dawning on people now that where we're located in the world, if we want to make a world product and supply the world, because that's where everything's going today, if you make disc for your CD player, if you manufacture boots, you have to know where to sell them and how to sell them. So location is so important. We're in a part of the country that it costs a fortune to have it shipped out of here. So that restricts what we should be manufacturing here. If it's going to cost us five times as much to get it to the market in Ontario and ten times as much to get it to the market in Europe, it's just not feasible for us to do it. Now, my worry is the controlling dollar right now is still on the old premises of, you know, my dad did this and that worked. For some reason, my generation has caught on too late that it's a world market. So we lost something in, in, the, in that, you know, most of the old cities, Halifax when it was, has now caught up. But places like Sydney, Glace Bay, no matter for it, the local areas around here, there was a, certain families ran everything, which wasn't a bad thing. But it was just, you know, it was passed on from son to son, generation. You say you're from a small town in Newfoundland. I'm sure that community worked the same way. Joe owned at the grocery store, then Joe's son worked there, and his nephew worked there, and everything else. But then what happened was Joe's grandson got enough education, said, I'm not working here, I'm working out there, wherever out there would be. Might be China, it might be out west, it might be Ontario. And they left. So there was a gap there all of a sudden. There was nobody to fill it. So when Joe retired, that was gone. And now Joe's son's not coming back because all he knew here was I could have a grocery store and Dad had the grocery store. There was no money in it. So he's not coming back to, to create something. But the younger generation, from 30 down, they have caught on that we have a perfect place to make things because we have, they're finding out when they get away, the big cities, people don't want to live in big cities. They want to live with fresh air. Uh, they want to live with some scenery. They want to live with some security other than dollars. So now they are thinking we will generate some sort of income in this area and be able to live here and raise families here. Um, just listening to you, listening to other young people talk in general, they don't want to go away. Um, my generation, everybody went away. As a matter of fact, my grandfather would say something like, uh, to one of the children would say, well, you don't want to go away. What do you mean you don't want to go away, he'd say. He'd say, look out in the yard there, you see those little birds here? They got a brain that big. And when it comes time to getting some food, they go away for the winter and get the food, come back. I'm sure you've got as many brains as that bird if you have to go away and get your money and come back, come back. But now they're learning when they come back with the money, they can create some. But my, uh, my big worry is we're going to lose too much before they come back. They come back. And that's, that's the biggest thing. And it's, it's not a worry. Uh, that I think is going to carry on and from generation to generation. I'm just going to miss growing up with my grandchildren because they're the ones that will eventually come back, but I'll already be gone. So I'm going to miss watching my grandchildren grow up. I'm going to watch that type of thing and my friends watching their children grow up. But not that I worry about them because I know they're going to be out there having a ball and gaining knowledge and, and getting ready to, to take it over. And I think they're ready to take it over.